Hello, and welcome to this presentation, Understanding Oscilloscopes, DSKU. In this presentation, we'll explain the concept of skew in oscilloscope measurements and how oscilloscope channels can be de-skewed in order to obtain more accurate measurement results. Let's start by explaining what we mean by skew. Different signal propagation times on different oscilloscope channels can create timing offsets between displayed waveforms. Here, the same signal is being measured on two different channels, but the waveforms appear out of phase on the oscilloscope display. This timing offset is called skew. In most cases, this difference in propagation time is created by probes that have different lead lengths. The skew between oscilloscope channels is typically on the order of nanoseconds or less. However, as we'll see in just a moment, even very small amounts of skew can still have a non-negligible effect on measurement results. Power measurement is one of the areas where skew can be very important. Oscilloscope power measurements are often made with a voltage probe on one channel and a current probe on another channel, with power being calculated as the product of voltage and current. In this example, the actual voltage and current are exactly in phase. But if there were skew between the measured voltage and the measured current, then the resulting power calculation will be incorrect, and measured peak power will be less than the actual or true peak power. In addition to power measurements, skew can also come into play when looking at the relationship between multiple voltage signals, such as when triggering across multiple channels, or when analyzing high-speed digital signals. The process of removing or correcting for skew is called de-skewing, and is supported by most modern digital oscilloscopes. To de-skew two or more channels, the user enters the necessary time offset, or skew, such that the waveforms connected to the same signal source overlap on the screen. For example, the two channels shown here do not overlap due to skew between the channels. After entering the appropriate amount of skew, the channel waveforms now overlap, meaning that the signals have been de-skewed. The necessary amount of de-skew can be determined either by placing markers or cursors on the waveforms and measuring the time difference, or by manually increasing or decreasing the amount of skew while visually inspecting the waveforms. Let's look at how multiple voltage probes are de-skewed. This requires a common signal source, and for ease of de-skewing, a square or pulse signal is recommended. The probe compensation output found on most oscilloscopes is a convenient source for this type of signal. The voltage probes are then attached to this source and to ground, and the waveforms for each channel are observed. As mentioned earlier, if the waveforms on each channel overlap, then no de-skewing is necessary. Otherwise, the skew on one or more channels should be adjusted until the waveforms do overlap. Note that this procedure can be used with both passive as well as active voltage probes. When de-skewing a combination of voltage and current probes for power measurements, a special de-skewing fixture is normally required. This fixture generates time-aligned voltage and current pulses. A current probe is clamped around one of the current paths on the board, and either active or passive voltage probes are then connected to special measurement points next to the current probe connection. De-skewing is performed by comparing the displayed voltage and current waveforms and adjusting the skew on one or both channels until the voltage and current waveforms overlap. Let's end with a brief summary. Differences in signal propagation time can create a time shift between waveforms acquired on different oscilloscope channels, and this phenomenon is commonly referred to as skew. Skew is generally undesirable because it can lead to inaccurate measurement results, particularly when using separate voltage and current probes for making power measurements. But skew can also negatively impact any measurement involving multiple channels, particularly when higher speed signals are involved. De-skewing is the process of removing this offset or skew between channels, and is carried out by connecting probes either to a common signal source or to time-aligned sources. The amount of skew is then adjusted on one or more channels until the waveforms overlap. This concludes our presentation, 
Understanding Oscilloscopes, DSKU. If you'd like to learn more about oscilloscopes or other oscilloscope-related measurements and functions, please see the links in the video description. Thanks for watching.